coming on me and all that. Okay. I sure wish I had. It, yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. But not the utilities. No, not, not this one. Not this big one. Even me, I need one. Yes. They have this four trenders. Yes. yes. I heard the car can drive itself. Yes. Yes, the new one. Yes. Just for six minutes. <laughs> Business of real estate is not a push to have those kind of things. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Um, and I'm from North Riding in Randbeck. Um, what brought me to have a one on one with the man of God is to hear the mind of God regarding my business and a possible property purchase that we were considering uh, with my wife. So today I got to sit with Prophet Andres, and Prophet Andres um, indeed. Uh, gave me the mind of God regarding the business that it will grow um, and even something that even this week I was actually looking at which is uh, the property business I was looking at some vacant land um, for consideration and he, he said God is gonna indeed help us and, and give us the money to do that um, as as well as yeah well and what and what that property business will will grow uh, to be like or to look like. Um, he also spoke about finances that I was expecting and indeed I am expecting uh, some money from three different places um, and and he prayed for that. Oh, super excited. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very encouraged, you know. Sometimes you have, you know, wishes, thoughts, I'll almost call them prayers because you, it's not really stuff you are verbalizing, but to for God to bring it up and to remind one even of the desires and the prayers one is offered is really encouraging. But also just to know the mind of God that one is on the right purpose um, or path um, regarding the things we want to do. One is very, very encouraged that uh, we are walking in line with purpose and God is with us. But well, as you have blessed you raise in Jesus name. Jesus. 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 Yeah, bless you. Sir, you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one on one. Please tell us what he said and please confirm it. Yeah. Um, the Apostle spoke about the fact that we went to see the gender of um, our dot, our baby, um, and that I was not satisfied um, with it being a girl and I confirmed that it's true um, I'm expecting a boy and he said God will give us a boy and the more is the fact that um, he also spoke about the business that the business or at least money in the business is not coming as fast as I am expecting or as, as, as and that I had experienced some disappointments and I had experienced some disappointments in business uh, there's a deal I was working on recently that just fell by the wayside um, and he confirmed that uh, part of it is God protecting me from working with the wrong people. Um, and I am very happy with that. Um, yeah, so, and he prayed for breakthrough, obviously, to remove the spirit of delay. Yeah. And how do you feel that, despite what the doctor said of you guys expecting a girl, he confirmed that it's a boy. How did that make you feel, or how does that make you feel? Uh, well, one, uh, happy. <laughs> Uh, very happy that you know God honors God gives us our heart's desire uh, whether he gives us the desire or he gives us what we desire doesn't matter both I'm so happy I'm, I'm excited that um, one is in God's plan and one is desiring or looking forward to the things that God is going to do yeah so it makes me very excited Amen. yeah 
And how do you feel after a one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres? Um, I, I, th I, I believe that God's answer is, God's word is God's answer. So mm. it's, it's creating the thing that we desire. So I'm, I'm very relieved. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm thoroughly excited. Um, run, come here. Uh, come grab the anointing. The, the word of God is the spirit of God. Uh, there's no better place or there's no better way to spend your time than getting insights into God's purposes and plans. And yeah, live. Amen.